So you're working from home, it's new to you, you're not too sure how you can remain productive, energized and focused. Well, today I'm gonna dive straight into it. I'm gonna show you exactly what you should be doing every single day to make sure that you stay energized, focused and you control your productivity. So the first thing first is looking after your environment. Now I'm sure you've heard this loads of times, you know, you need to be careful of where you sit, careful of what you do, but I'm gonna doubt that there's a little bit more to it, right? Firstly, wherever, this desk right here has been designed based on what I want it to look like. I have this here because it reminds me of South Africa, which is where I'm from originally. It's something cultural, it brings some vibe into it. I've got my speaker system because I like to blare my music sometimes. I've got a nice monitor that works well for me. I have some money on my desk because as much as I don't really chase the money, it's still nice to look at, it's not real, it's fake. Um, but the point is, I've designed where I sit and where I work. You can see even my paperwork up on the wall there. My goals and everything around me is surrounded to prime myself into an environment. I only work from here. This is where I work from. I don't work anywhere else in my house. I don't take my laptop to my bed. I don't sit down watching TV while my laptop's there. I don't do any of that because I need to prime my environment into something where I know mentally this is a work time. This is a place where I'm coming to work. Now, when I'm saying priming, the essential thing that we're trying to do here is every time that we see each other, uh, well, we see a certain environment, we see certain things around us, they trigger us to focus. They trigger us to get work done, to stay energized, to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. So, as I said, everything around me here has been designed to trigger that effect. It's been designed so when I wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning and I'm at my desk at 8 o'clock every day, which we're going to get onto in a minute, but when I'm at my desk at 8 o'clock, there's a few things that's going on in my head. Firstly, my brain knows the time, so it's like, this is work time. Secondly, it knows where I'm sitting and it's like, this place is for working, not messing around. You know, if I want to go out and watch some YouTube on my phone or my, vi or my laptop or whatever, I sit somewhere else, I don't sit at the, the, this desk. This desk here is for work, that's it, nothing else. I don't, I don't do anything else at this desk. This is for business, which is exactly what it's about for you. Design your environment to number one, be something you enjoy. Number two, be somewhere that's gonna prime that environment. Have things around you that remind you of you know, what you're doing this for in the first place. That picture up there is me. <laughs> that's me as a child. It reminds me a little bit about you know, the fact that time is moving on. This was me just like 21 years ago, this was me up here. This is me today, right? Things change, things moves on, but it's in my environment. It gives me something to look at every day to remind myself exactly what I'm doing. So that's number one. Prime your environment, look after your environment, and design it to be something that you actually wanna work around. Number two, look after yourself. This is something entrepreneurs and people working from home kind of forget to do. You know, when we work a normal job, we are there at work, we come home, we eat dinner, we relax, maybe watch a, watch a movie or something, we rest ourselves. But that there is a form of you know rewarding yourself for your day's work. But when you're working from home, it's a little bit difficult to do that. So you need to do your work, and then after work, do something to celebrate, do something to reward yourself for having such a good work day and crushing it and getting things done. So for me, you know, my work day essentially ends at seven o'clock, which is when I'll go downstairs, cook myself a nice meal. Between eight and nine, I'm usually watching some entrepreneur videos, some CEO videos or something to that effect. But from nine to 11, that's, that's my sacred time for just entertainment. Like, I'll be honest with you, that's my relaxation, my entertainment based on whatever I wanna be doing that day. It's the time that I watch movies, the time that I pretty much do anything to reward myself for my hard day's work. And you guys need to do the same thing. If you're not rewarding yourself, you're not gonna wanna do it. And if you actually want to do your work, you're gonna get better work done. And it's gonna, you're not gonna be working off willpower. You're gonna be working off the fact that you actually wanna get things done, simply to get things done. Number three. This is important, not many people talk about it, but it's called magic hours. That's, that's what I call it anyway, right? So what is a magic hour? A magic hour, is a time of which you are naturally more focused and more energized. So in one of my last videos, I, I spoke about waking up early and I spoke about something called sleep chronotype. That is the natural routine that everybody has individually in your head. There are four types and everybody's different. 
I'm a bear, which means that I wake up at 7, I go to sleep at 11, and throughout certain periods of the day, I should, in theory, be doing certain things. Now, I don't always stick to this recommendation, which is backed by science. I don't always stick to it, because I like to have my own routine. But once you find your magic hours, the magic hours defined by something where you are naturally a little bit more energized, naturally a little bit more focused, a little bit more getting things done. That's it. Your head's just a little bit more focused. It's natural for everybody and you have to find these times. How to do that? What I recommend is you get a little notepad and you write down between uh, eight and nine, I was super productive. But between nine and 11, I dropped down a little bit, not so much. Then between 12 and two, I was insanely productive, the best period of my day. So what does that mean? It means between those periods are the times so where you get the most done, the most productive, hardest, most focused part of your work, that's where you slot it in your schedule. So for me, I know between eight and 12 is my most focused period of the day, like for sure. After that, I'm not brain dead, but there's no point. Like what I do after that is less focus. It's more stuff like coaching calls and stuff like that. Whereas between eight and 12, it's something where, you know, I need my full undivided focus attention. So find your magic hours, stick them in your routine, make your most difficult or most challenging tasks at that part of the day. Number four, I've discussed it briefly before already, but it's about having a routine. Now it's incredibly important for your brain to know when the clock hits this time, I must be doing this. Plus it structures your day. Not only is the thing where it hits the time, you're like, okay, time to get work done, but you've got a routine, something to look forward to. At the end of the day, you know, on days I'm, I'm not doing so great, I know that between nine and 11, I'm gonna be doing entertainment anyway. I'm gonna be watching movies, I'm gonna, do whatever I want to do to just end the day off in a nice note. So, you know, I'm sometimes looking forward to that point of view. Sometimes when I'm having a really challenging day, I've still got something to look forward to because it's schedules on the calendar. Task schedules are tasks that get done. So if you want to get something done, schedule it, create a routine, have your magic hours whenever they are, make sure you do your most challenging tasks at that point and have a routine for the rest of the day, something that you will enjoy. The last point that I'm gonna to mention today is state control. Now what I mean by that is you really need to, whatever moment that you're in right now, you are in a particular state. Now I've spoke before about default setting, I've explained what it is and how to improve it. I'm not gonna explain it too in depth in this video because I've covered it many times before. But controlling your state basically means at whatever natural point during the day that you feel like, you know, maybe your energy's dropped or on the other side, your energy's really up, you're more productive, whatever that is, you wanna elongate that time there. So when like now I'm more energetic, more focused, more into, you know, doing what I'm doing and the task at hand, I'm a little bit more energetic. But if let's say in an hour's time, my energy drops and it goes down a bit, it's my job to pick that back up. It's my job to pick it back up and make it more of a permanent thing. And that is really easy to do once you nail down the steps. Now, as I said, I covered it in the default setting video. I will leave the link down below in the description. But the point is, figure out what state you wanna be in. For example, maybe you wanna be you know, extra charismatic, energetic, uh, a little bit more free going, or on the other side, you wanna be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more, I would say, positively aggressive. That's kind of what I aim for. Energetic, positively aggressive, you know, goal chasing, go to get it. That's my type of mood that I like to stay in. So whenever I drop below that, I just pick it back up. I do it in the same steps that I uncovered in the other video, but just to expand here, little things, shouting, dancing, do whatever you need to do to pick up that energy and bring it back out within you. It's already there because you've already done it before. You just have to bring it back up. Control your state, make it happen, become energetic, become focused and get things done. That's it. Five steps, five steps is all you need to become more energetic, productive and get things done. That's it. Now, as a bonus step, accountability. To help you with this, I've created a free Facebook community group just for the fullerism and con community of this content. So what I'm gonna do is leave the link down below in a pin post for the free Facebook group. Click it, join us, come and join our group. It's an accountability stage with me also giving mindset, help, tips, and advice. I'm in there pretty much every day answering the questions that you guys have. So join via the link in the pin post down below. Come in, 
make some friends, talk to each other, have the accountability there, something to work towards. Let us know your goals. Let us know what you're doing every single day to make those goals achievable. Guys, my name is Reese, and I will see you on Tuesday with a new video.